Hello, this video is about how to install or upgrade Oracle VirtualBox 4.3 in Ubuntu 12.04. The outcomes for this video would be to check if you have a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Ubuntu, download the latest version of Oracle VirtualBox, at the time of this video it's 4.3.6, download Oracle VirtualBox extensions, optional, Install Vim Text Editor, that's the one I prefer to use, but you can use the Get It Text Editor, which comes with Ubuntu or any other text editor you wish. Then we're going to follow the directions from the install page at the virtualbox.org site. Append the ETC app sources list file with the VirtualBox source page, then download and register the VirtualBox key on your computer. Finally, install VirtualBox and install VirtualBox extensions and we'll verify that it's actually running. Requirements would be an Ubuntu operating system. 12.04 32-bit is demonstrated but this should work with uh, all versions up to 13.04. Uh, An internet connection, administrative privileges on Ubuntu, that should be able to use sudo, and enough memory RAM to run both your host operating system and future guest operating system at the same time. Additional info, you've got the VirtualBox site, and then if you really want to use the command line, there's two sites here that you can do it in four commands from the command line. I've got a disclaimer. In order to create this video, VirtualBox was installed in a virtual machine. This allowed for multiple retakes and cleaner screenshots. You should install VirtualBox on your host machine. VirtualBox does not support embedded levels of virtual machines and the reason for installing on a virtual machine was to make a better video. That said, you'll see a virtual guest XP machine running on a virtual guest XP. Ubuntu machine all on a Windows 7 host. VirtualBox does not support this kind of operation. I just wanted to show you that you can do it and, it, and it's not a very clean install, but you can see that even though I used a virtual machine for the video that it still works. Before downloading VirtualBox for Ubuntu, you'll need to know whether you have a 32-bit version of Ubuntu or a 64-bit version of Ubuntu. The easiest way to do that is go to System Settings, click on Details, and in this case this is Operating System Type 32-bit. This means that you'll have to download the i86 version of VirtualBox instead of the other version. The i86 version is the 32-bit version. Here we are at the VirtualBox Downloads page, or actually the VirtualBox.org page. To go to the Downloads page, click on Downloads. Now since Ubuntu is a Linux computer, we're going to have to go over here to VirtualBox 4.3.6 for Linux hosts. And we have to pick the correct version for Ubuntu. In our case, we've got Ubuntu 12.04 LTS. If you're still unsure about which version of Ubuntu to use, you can always go back to the system settings and find out. Now, if you recall, we used the i386 version, or the 32-bit version. If you have a 64-bit version of Ubuntu, go ahead and use the AMD 64 version. So let's go ahead and download the 32-bit version. And we're going to save the file. Click OK. If you look up here, it says 25 seconds, so it's not a long download. And one other download that we should do is grab the extension pack. And the license is a little bit different here, it's personal use. So click right here, whereas the other one is, uh, I think, is open source. Click on Save File again, and you notice it's downloaded. So to verify that everything's downloaded, we simply go to the Home folder, and we'll go to Downloads, and here's the extension pack, and here's the virtual box i386 next step will do the install here I am back at the virtual box downloads page and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow directions here to install virtual box Ubuntu 12.04
First thing I'm going to do is open up a terminal, tr, and the text editor I use is called vim, and I'm just going to install it real quick. Install vim. Okay, it's installed. So if we go follow the directions, go down here, and directions here is we're going to have to add this line since we've got Ubuntu 12.04 precise pangolin. We're going to have to use this line here and add it to the etc. apt sources.list file. But actually, so before we do this, let's back up that sources.list file in case we make a mistake. So go to cd etc apt, do an ls, and there it is. And to back it up, I go use sudo cp sources.list, and we'll call it sources dot list dot b c k u p backup hit enter do an l s and you can see it's there so now let's sudo now let me edit the sources dot list file sudo vim because that's my text editor use get it get it if that's your choice And I'll scroll down here to the bottom, and I just want to append it to the, this to the bottom. So we have precise pangolin 12.04 here, and they've got 12.04, 12.10, and 13.04, whichever one you're using. Click on copy, and over here I have to use insert to insert it. And I want to append it, so I'm going to go all the way to the end. Then right click on paste. And then hit escape, colon, right quick. So that's done. Now the other thing we have to do, this is the, that was the source that we're going to get it from, but we have to give it a key right here sudo app key add oracle vbox ase but we also have to register it so we can combine downloading and registering in one line so I'm going to copy this now do not forget this last dash here at the end because that goes back and refers to this dash right here I'm going to paste again. You notice that it says OK. Now we have to, I have to do two things here. Afterwards, I need to update everything. And to update everything, I have to use sudo apt get update this updates all my sources list gets there all the files that this computer might need to uh, update itself once everything once that's done I use the sudo apt get install virtual box 4.3 if you want to, you can copy and paste here also. Hit enter. And we'll do a Y for yes. Now, when you write down install, that will both install and update. If you have VirtualBox 4.2 installed, it will also do the update. And it will take care of that uh, problem where if you go to 
the Ubuntu Software Center and try and update. Ubuntu Software Center won't update, but this will. And we'll just let it trundle along. Now you notice right here it says adding group VBOX users. In the, in the previous video you had to do this using a graphical tool. Now one other thing it says right here, it says trying to register the virtual box kernel modules using DKMS. If you go over, over here in the Linux distribution, it says you should install DKMS. It helps sometimes somewhere in here. And I always recommend that you install DKMS when you're first installing Ubuntu. So let's copy this right here. sudo apt-get install DKMS. And basically that ensures that VirtualBox host kernel modules are properly updated if the Linux kernel version changes during the next uh, upgrade. So now I'm going to copy install DKMS or I could type it in, doesn't matter. Simply paste and in this case this computer already had uh, DKMS installed, it's just upgrading it. So that didn't take long. So now let's verify, uh, well actually before we verify one other thing, we've got to install that extension pack. The best way to do that is go to your home folder, go to downloads, and right here is the extension pack. Simply click on it. and Oracle VirtualBox Manager comes up and you get a question, install. And you're going to have to agree to the license. Scroll down through it and I agree. And you have to give your user password. This should be an administrative password. The extension pack is installed successfully. So now we have the VirtualBox Manager. One other thing you should actually do is go over here to the icon and lock it to the launcher. And if you want to create a new computer, you can create, I'm sorry, a new virtual machine. This will work fine just in creating some new virtual machines. And it's ready to go. Just to demonstrate that this command line installation works, here is Ubuntu 12.04 desktop virtual machine running a Windows XP virtual machine. Click inside just to show that it's running. If, if you look down here at the bottom right, you'll see that you've got the virtual machine controls here in the window for XP, and then there's also another set for the... Uh, Ubuntu 12.04 desktop virtual machine. And the demonstration of having a virtual machine running inside a virtual machine was simply just to verify that the command line installation works. Thank you.